Hi guys, MPDev here. Finally, after some time, I succeed on making this new video <laughs> with a new features that I've done for the end tracking of the Oculus Quest. So I tried to make it more possible, uh, easy to understand, um, but also you will see that these still have some limitations, but also it gives you some good possibilities to use in the games. And of course, in the future, if you will have some other advice to improve this kind of script, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the section below. Um, the feature that I'm talking about is the mirror mode. Briefly, uh, what is the mirror mode? Well, uh, the mirror mode is a feature, uh, I call it a feature, that uh, gives you the possibility to reflect a hand to the position to the other hand. For example, if I'm using the left hand uh, in the game, I will see that I'm using the right hand and moving the right hand and rotating the right hand. Um, but in the reality, I am still using the left hand. This can be quite a little bit confusing, so I think it's better to pass to Unity. Okay, so here we are in our scene. Uh, more or less, uh, the scene is the same as the other videos. We have our OVR camera rig, we set uh, both the right and left hands. And in this case, uh, we are going to uh, create an um, empty game object where we are going to attach the VR mirror script. And now I'm going to show you how this is going to work. So, uh, from the start, we have two booleans. One is to check if we are going to activate the left hand and one for the right hand. Then we have four game, uh, four game objects. Two are the references for the left and the right hand. And the other two are the references for the anchor of the left hand anchor and the right hand anchor. Then we have a transform reference for the player transform and the two uh, other references one is for the current position and another one is a, a generic reference boolean if we are going to mirror or not uh, this is the primary function that uh, going to check if we are going to mirror the left hand or the right hand in base uh, the boolean that we are going to activate so for example if i'm going to activate the mirror left uh, we set to false the game object of the left hand and we are going to say to the right hand that it's not anymore at the right hand, is a left hand. And the same is the opposite for the mirror right. Then we have two functions that mainly have to be called together. One is to disable the mirror. So uh, we are going to set through the, all the game object of the hands. We are going to uh, reset all the hand type. So the left hand will be the, le the left and the right hand will be the right. Uh, we are going to set to false all the booleans and this one instead is going to reset all the position and the rotation of the end to the normal state of the their original position in the update we are going to have two references for the transform of the left and right end and in base of the mirror that we are going to do we are going to call a specific function function that is called the mirror from two that is going to take uh, a resource uh, transform for example if i'm going to mirror the left end i'm taking the left source transform and the destination transform going to be the right and we are going to set to true the mirroring boolean we are going to determine the position by uh, taking the source transform position and letting the player transform position then we are going to do a, a reflective relative vector. This is another function that I have I made to that return the opposite position of the current end position. So uh, if we are having the left end, it's going to position in the relative reflect vector of the uh, the left end. So it's going to be right. <clears throat> and the same we are going to reflect the rotation. So we have uh, some rotation that are reflected. After that, we have the set current transform. This is uh, uh, I made this function because they have uh, this have some limitation. If we are going to mirror the hands, 
it will save uh, some uh, a specific position of the player. So if we are going to rotate the player to the right, the left hand or the right hand that is mirrored is going to the opposite position. So we will never have a stable position of the player. It's quite difficult to understand, so I will uh, make you see in the play mode uh, in the editor. Then, <clears throat> to make this work, I just have make these uh, two game objects. One is to enable the mirror and the one is to disable the mirror. So I made a simple cube, I put a box collider that I set to trigger and then I attach a mirror enable script that I created. The same is for the disable, it's always a cube with another trigger box collider and this one has the mirror disabled script. These two scripts are really easy. They are taking the references for the VR mirror and uh, on trigger enter, if we are going to collide, uh, to collide with a game object with the tag that have hands, so in this case, I put both the hands in the tag hands, and we are going to check if we are not mirroring, then we are going to do another check if we are mirroring with the left hand, then we are going to set the mirror to left. True. If we are mirroring the right hand, then we are going to set the mirroring to right. True. And after uh, we have done this check, we are going to set the current transform position. So we are going to say, okay, I'm uh, sitting in this position and we are, I'm going to enable the mirror in this position. And then I'm going to enable the mirroring. Instead, the disable is the opposite. We are going to check if we are colliding uh, the, uh, with the hands uh, game object, with the tag uh, hands game object. We are going to check if we are mirroring, and then we are going to dis disable everything to the original state. It's not really difficult, but anyway, if you have some kind of problem, you will find the entire project on the Git library source. Okay, so now instead I'm going to show you in the play mode how this actually works. I'm going to connect my Oculus with the Air Link that now is the new feature that it has and is really extremely comfortable. Okay, now is starting. Okay, as you can see, I can still always grab the sphere. Okay, don't fall off, don't fall, don't fall off. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to touch the... Okay, bye-bye. I'm going to touch the cube uh, with the right hand. You will see that it's currently using the left, the left hand appeared. This means in the reality, I am using the right hand, but in the game, I'm using the left hand. This, is, was, this was, uh, uh, the limitation I was talking about. If I'm going to look another way, I don't have the hand anymore because it's reflected, it's going to the other part. So I made a function, this function, so um, for example, if I'm going to do this gesture, I'm going to select the position I want to reset the mirror. This is uh, the set current position. And uh, in base, uh, where I want to set the direction, I just release and I have uh, the mirror working this way. If I want to put the mirror in, in the right position, okay, I just uh, touch the disable. I retry again. Okay, so I don't, okay. I want to set the mirror in this way, so I release and I have the mirror going in this way. So I try to touch, okay, I reset the mirror. I'm going to touch with the, okay, and now I have the mirror in the left hand. Okay, it's not really difficult. For this video is everything. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this script can be useful some, for someone, even if it's a little bit weird, but I think that can give to some games that little bit of spicy that it can give. So thank you for watching 
and if you want to see more content remember to subscribe and to leave a like to this video thank you and see you in the next video